Hello, and welcome to Impossible Science, where the impossible It's a reality. I'm sure that many of you are well aware that scientists often use lab mice to complete mazes. Now what if I told you that you could do the very same thing from your own home, but not with mice, but instead with ants from your front porch? Let's begin with today's experiment. For today's experiment, you're going to need some paper, a paintbrush, a pen, an ant along with some dirt from its anthill, and some white vinegar. Now I've gone ahead and drawn a circle using the pen. And now I'm going to outline the circle with some white vinegar. And then we're going to place an ant in the center of the circle and see how it reacts. As you can see, the ant does not want to cross the vinegar wall. Now what if we were to try something a little more interesting and sort of create a maze using the vinegar? Would the ant be able to complete it? Now obviously I did speed up this footage a bit for you guys, but it did take the ant approximately 5 minutes to complete this maze. But considering that it's just an ant that it picked up on the front porch, and all this ant had to guide it was a few pieces of dirt here and there, I think 5 minutes is a pretty impressive time. Now I do want to say that it did take several attempts for this ant to complete this maze, and I did find that some ants were more able to complete mazes than others. But still, ants completing mazes? Wow! What's next? Ants building rocket ships? <laughs> well ladies and gentlemen, you just witnessed an ant, an ant, complete a maze. Now my question to you is what is it about vinegar that was repelling the ants? And how was the dirt that I got from the ant's nest able to guide the ant from start to finish through the maze? If you can't figure this out, don't worry, because I'll reveal all in the next episode of Impossible Science. And for all mantis, out. You're free, little ants. Thanks for the help.